In this video, let me show you how to build a quality lead magnet in like just minutes. All right, to get started, we're not gonna use ChatGPT, we're gonna do a little better. So we're gonna use Perplexity instead. The reason for using Perplexity is simple. It's just like ChatGPT, but once we get the information from a prompt, it's also gonna list the sources where it's bringing the information from. So unlike ChatGPT, it's not really making information up. It's like summarizing the information that already exists on the internet and gives me the sources so it can validate to see if the information is actually true, it makes sense, and it's valuable. So for example, I'm gonna say a beginner's guide to AI automation for people in RevOps. So I'm just gonna write a simple prompt. Now Perplexity has gone through all these different sources. There's RTS Labs, there's Zapier, there's Automation Anywhere, and like a bunch of other sources. And the answer has like a bunch of different sections, different topics, understanding AI automation, key strategies for implementing AI automation, you know, true using the right tools, practical AI automation workflows, considerations for like AI automation, you know, the privacy and all, and getting started with some practical tips. Okay, this information looks great. I think it's super useful for someone as a beginner. I'm, I'm good with this information. But again, just an example, you know, for your topic, for your audience, you may want to see what's best for you. Like if it's not, work with the prompt a little bit, like just really leverage the tool to the best of its ability to gather the best information. All right, so assuming everything you have is perfect, let's copy all the information and go over to our second tool, which is gamma.app. So gamma.app, is a tool which can turn your like your notes your pdfs and everything into like either a presentation or like well formatted documents so if i go to gamma.app i'm gonna go create new i'm gonna paste in text again if you already have a lot of resources in pdfs and elsewhere you can just import your file or like a website where you have a blog post or something you want to turn into a lead magnet whatever you want to do you can do that as well but in this example we're just gonna paste in text so i'm gonna paste the text that are generated in perplexity and i'm gonna pick the document at the bottom so again you have an option to do a presentation a web page or a document so we're just going to do a document in this case. And here we have options to like customize what we're going to generate. On the left, we see an option to like generate, condense, or preserve. So generate would just mean that it's going to take these topics, maybe like add a bit more details wherever AI thinks is necessary. Condense is just going to like make it shorter. And preserve is going to keep all this information and just like turn that into the report we're trying to generate for the lead magnet. And then you can customize further in terms of like, you know, per card, so like per page. We want things brief, medium, or detailed. Then we can sort of define the audience we're writing for and the tone of voice we want to write for and also the output language so great option that we can also change the languages and then also the images if you want AI generated images or we want to pick one of the libraries one of the stock photo libraries and it's going to pick automatically the best image it's going to think for that page so review the information here uh, and if everything looks good we're going to continue and once we continue we have an option to pick the style and the theme we want to leverage for this document. If you already have a brand guide you want to follow, pick the closest one to it so you can customize that later on. I'm going to just pick this one. I think this one looks pretty clean. So I'm going to hit generate now. So once I hit generate, it's going to turn that into well formatted, pretty looking guide. Now I can go through all the pages. I can edit it like I'm editing like a document or a presentation. If let's say for some reason, if you think there's like a topic that's missing, you're going through things like the flow isn't just the one you're looking for, you can also generate a new card with AI. So once you click on that, you have an option at the bottom to like pick the style you want to pick. So like maybe you want like three columns with images, maybe you want some bullet points. Again, that's optional. Or you can just like put the topic that's missing in your document. Just type it out, for example, AI ethics consideration and hit generate. And now we have the page also added to a report. And if you click on any section, you know, we have like a bunch of different options. We can improve the writing. We can fix grammar, which is funny. It's already written by AI. So like, it should have good grammar. Uh, we can translate, we can make it longer or shorter, make it simple, be more specific, break into bullet points, you know, like quick little ways to like make adjustments. But I wouldn't say like, you shouldn't use those credits to like these do these things unless you really want to. Uh, speaking of which, I mean, you get like a, like a few hundred free credits to start off with. And one of these documents take about 40 credits to do. Uh, I mean, this is like the free plan. Uh, and then of course, you know, if this is super useful. You're getting a lot of leads, it's working for you. You can bump up to the free plan. Anyway, the point is, you know, it turns your research into the documentation and you can edit the way you want you can add images you can change the layouts if you go to the right side of the section you have an option to add videos you have an option to add images you can connect your google drive your Miro board your rate table your power bi if you want to like import data or some other data sources or artifacts from other tools we also have options to do like charts do data visualization or like connect some forms so maybe you want to use this and you want to ask people to fill out a form to like become a customer or to inquire about your services you can integrate your tally form 
form, type form, Calendly, like, you know, the book of call, Google Forms and all that stuff. Again, uh, right within the documentation. So I think overall, the tool is pretty comprehensive. And I like the idea how we can just turn our, uh, you know, research into a document, which is pretty clean. Because if we were to take this document and add it to a Google Doc, it wouldn't be as clean as this one. I think it's a lot more readable for sure. By the way, this video isn't sponsored by Gamma by any means. I wish it was. I'm just putting it out there what I like. So once you're ready with the document you have, uh, you can share it via link. You can share it as an embed or your Notion page or elsewhere, or you can export as a PDF or as a PowerPoint presentation as well. So this is how you can like start turning your ideas into lead magnets like real quick. I'm actually building one for my newsletter as well. Uh, let me know if you want me to do a video on like, you know, what I did, uh, how well it worked, how I integrated into my newsletter workflow as well, and uh, what results I got. Yeah, let me know if you're interested. Leave a comment about that, and I'll be happy to do a video once I have some data points to report on that. If you want to learn more about how to integrate AI and technology into your workflows to do things faster, you can also subscribe to my newsletter. It's free. And subscribe to my channel if you love these videos. It's also free. See you in the next one.